horses are emotional. I see a beautiful horse in the wild. I see a beautiful horse doing some high-level dressage movement. I cry. I get emotional. People get emotional. There's something about horses that brings out emotions. You're cute. Look at him. Here on the California-Nevada border, a few hours north of Lake Tahoe, emotions are running high. The Bureau of Land Management, or BLM, which oversees this public land, is conducting one of its periodic wild horse roundups. The land itself can only sustain so many animals, whether that's cattle, wildlife, and horses. Animal rights activists campaign fiercely against the gathers, as they are known. We are literally losing half of the wild horses in our state. And this is a, a great loss to our state because we value having them free on the range. The activists say that the government is simply caving to pressure from ranchers who pay to graze their livestock on public lands. They disproportionately allocate the resources. They allow five times more livestock than wild horses and burros. And this is just a government giveaway to the livestock industry at the expense of the wild horses. But the Roundup methods create the most controversy. At each trap location, a helicopter drives horses, sometimes from miles away, towards a fence chute. There, a trained horse, known as the pilot, or Judas horse, leads them into the pen. The horses are then loaded into trailers and taken to BLM corrals. The helicopter uh, is the, the most efficient, safe, and quickest means to, to bring the horses in. A Wrangler can do it, but they have to match the speed of the horses. The helicopter can, can establish a pace that the horses establish themselves and just slowly guide them in. Dave Couture has been conducting helicopter roundups since 1977. You have to put the pressure on them. When I put that pilot horse in front of him, the helicopter has to come in and put the pressure on them or they won't follow him. Under pressure from Congress about the cost and safety of these roundups, the BLM has just asked the National Academy of Sciences to conduct a technical review of the program. Earlier this year, more than 100 horses died as a result of a roundup in Nevada. Activist Laura Lee was there to document. I caught a helicopter about five feet above an eight-month-old colt's head. Then I caught him dying in the holding facility because his feet were literally falling off. During this roundup, the standoff between the Wranglers and the activists, some with media credentials, was over access to the scene. We're all the way up on a hillside because they're making a mockery of public access because they don't like the photographs that I put out there. Access is, is, can be a difficult issue. We, we have to have people far enough from the gather site, from the trap, uh, to keep them safe. And we also need to keep them at a distance where the gather won't be disrupted but we want to make sure that, that we get credentialed news media members down onto that site uh, as close as we can possibly get them without jeopardizing safety. Roundup opponents use dramatic images of low-flying helicopters and injured horses to sway public opinion. Today, the horse wranglers want to make sure that there is nothing to see. If something happens, we're gonna correct it quickly, okay. just like we talked about. If it's a broken leg, we're gonna put it down. Okay. We're going to slide it on the trailer, same thing, we're going to go to town with it. Okay. Uh, we're not going to give them that one shot they want. Okay, all right, you got it. After the roundup, a small number of horses will be returned to the wild. Some are put up for adoption, but most are sent to ranches in Oklahoma and Kansas. We have this image of wild horses. It's the image of freedom. You know, we built the West on these horses' backs. Well, there's no such thing as a wild free-roaming horse. A wild horse lives in a fence-controlled system, and they have to be managed. Without management, you just got death. That's all you got. There are now more than 34,000 horses in burrows living at BLM corrals and pastures, almost as many as there are wild on the range, at a cost to taxpayers of over $27 million a year. And that cost alone could be what forces a change to this system.